Warning, this show contains graphic images and content. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, we're fans. In this episode, we talk about Phantasm V, a remake of our favorite clown movie. And that's it. Welcome to episode number 20. That's right, 20. We the can big two zero. We can almost drink, legally. I am Sean Vidmar, and my shirt matches my socks. God, you're a dork. And this is Danny Mason Jar Meckler. First off, we're going to go with Phantasm V. It's been 16 years since there's been a new one of these. And, uh, of course, I went to Fearnet.com, believe it or not. No way! And, really? Uh, stumbled upon this. There's two things right there. Fearnet and stumbled upon. Boom. Anyway, so, uh, well, he just read up about this because I could not describe it mm -hmm. for whatever reason. I'm brain dead right now. It's about Mickey Mouse who gets this magical hat. And he puts on the hat, then he can start conducting these brooms to do his bidding, and then waves crash all over the place. And then... I Close think. enough! But no, um, it's about this guy who, uh, he runs a morgue, some kind of mortuary, like a graveyard thing. It's pretty cool. He is a uh, number of different things. He's, he's the, uh, he's the, uh, he's a tall man, that's all his character name actually is. And basically he harvests the dead, turns them into dwarf-like zombies. That because is... Why not? That is... Basically it. And the only movies, thing scarier than a zombie is a midget zombie. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to take over the world. Um, I have not seen these movies in quite a long time, but I'm actually pretty excited. Came and, out in the 70s. And basically with this, uh, with the fifth one on its way out, there is no actual release date. There, uh, I guess it's been two years they've been taping this for like the last two years, and a teaser trailer just popped up. But there's no plot. Um, that's been announced really for it. Do we know anyone who's in it? Um, you probably don't know. Vern Troyer? Who's that? Mini Me? From Austin Powers? Now I hope so. Mm. But anyway, there is a teaser trailer, and Can't actually, my since it's. on stage. Well, actually, since um, it is only a minute long, here is the teaser trailer. Boom, boom, boom! I want you in my room so we can be together. Jeff! <laughs> Stephen King's It has just been announced that it's going to be remade. Don't know how I actually feel about this, but... Is Tim Curry going to be Pennywise again? See, that is like the biggest question, because the thing yeah. is, is that Curry has played, well, the devil before, and he's played the iconic clown in It. I mean, there is no one else that should be, be It, that, or Pennywise the clown, than Curry himself. Because, mm -hmm. I mean... Starring Jesse Eisenberg! <laughs> Death time! <laughs> Boom! Get out. <laughs> but, anyway, the, uh, 
Uh, the movie is about this club of misfits called the Loser Club or something like that, right? Whatever. Sure. And basically, um, a friend of theirs gets killed at one point in time when they're young. They all leave, they come back, and they basically try to fight Pennywise the Clown, who is basically swallowing souls of children or eating them. Sodomizing. Um, I did enjoy this movie. have not seen this one in a very long time. Also, the thing is about Stephen King, especially made-for-TV movies, is that the reasons that they came out in parts on TV, there is a purpose behind that. <laughs> Because you can only watch it in, in parts. <laughs> because sometimes, I mean, like, his movies do tend to drag on and on and on. And my God, there is no stopping it. But um, to be completely honest, I don't think that I'm really that big of a fan of the, the movie. I'm just a fan of Pennywise the Clown. Yeah. Because he is actually, he's just the character alone is very iconic. He's hilarious. Everybody, of course, knows who played him, but everything else about the movie, people tend to forget. But iconically, people tend to remember Pennywise the Clown. Because, I mean, let's face it, he is creepy. I mean, you have the scene of him talking to that poor child about everything floating down where he's at when he's in the sewers. I mean, the lighting and everything about that, that part is creepy mm -hmm. and throughout like this whole movie of course there's not a lot of brutality or anything to it and of course the best part of the whole movie in the library I have to show that yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. so awesome hey! you look like you could use this it's just water A little young for you, isn't she, Richie? Beep, beep, Richie! I didn't hear that. I didn't! I beg your pardon? Come on up, Richie! I got a balloon for you! <laughs> Don't you want a balloon? <laughs> What's the matter? One balloon, not enough! Try a... <laughs> <laughs> Is everything all right? <laughs> yes. Last chance, Tosha. Get out before it gets dark tonight. You're too old to stop me. You're all too old. No, Mike Hammond, if you see... Excuse me, sir. Do you have Prince Albert in a can? You do? Well, you better let the poor guy out. No, Mike Hanlon. Said I had to go. Said I had to get cleaned up. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him I'll see him tonight. Get out. Last chance. Get out! Get out! Get out! Excuse me, ma'am! Is your refrigerator running? It is! Well, you better catch it before it runs away! But anyway, when it comes to the movie, it, I, for one, am actually pretty excited for the remake of it. And he's the only one! <laughs> Danny could care less. I don't care. And we do know that Missy is not watching right now and will never watch it. <laughs> <laughs> She's definitely afraid of clowns for some reason. Yeah. Just because. Well, that's the end of our show. Go ahead and like us on Facebook. Find us on Twitter. Email us at theonlygenre at gmail.com and be sure to visit theonlygenre.com to find out about the horror convention that we're going to be going to at the middle of April. Should be awesome. Very excited about that. Also, don't forget to subscribe. So thank you very much for watching, and thank you for consuming our brains. It's about fucking time that we finish. <laughs> yes! But no. You uh, Kenny Baker, the guy who played R2-D2? He was in the little garbage can. I like how I did the C-3PO arms. Yeah, it was, it was lovely. And 
I will kill you again. Actually, I should kill you again. Because I have a green hoodie and I wanted to put it over you and then we'll just have your legs move. <laughs> will it work? You think? Probably. We'll try it. With your blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? Putting on the Ritz.